Welcome to 10 Mile Menu, the show where we challenge two teams to cook a fantastic three-course meal using only local produce sourced from within a 10-mile radius. Today we're in Herefordshire and Ledbury. Ledbury is one of England's most beautiful market towns, full of prime examples of 17th century black and white timber framed buildings. Nearby Eastnor Castle stands in the dramatic setting of the Malvern Hills. The county is famous for its Herefordshire beef, and Ledbury is rich with award winning butchers, organic greengrocers, and traditional. Meanwhile, the Blues are en route to buy meat for their menu. Well, here we are. Look is at the lovely butcher shop. Oh, I love this. Morning. 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 Good morning, good morning. Hello, mate. How are you? Very well, very well. We're looking, um, uh, obviously you've got some amazing products in here. I first thought grouse, of right. course, we're in this sort of game season now. But Very successful weekend and unfortunately out of grouse at this yeah. precise moment. Sold, Sold out, out. Most, of the, m most of our game. It's worrying that, isn't it? Sold out. He's, he we was obsessed by the grouse. But you, how does that, are your dreams shattered? Yeah, I mean, you know, I said we've got to think on our feet. We've got to be prepared to, to change. We did have a backup plan for everything we're doing. We want to stick to some sort of poultry it's got to be the chicken. Here she look is, at look at that. Superb, that's definitely a winning chicken. This chicken's from 10 miles away and it's from Springfield Farm, just outside Brumyard. I'm going to bone it all out. We're going to use the carcass as well to make some stock. This is sensational, this is looking good. The other thing, I think we need some beef fillet. I have some wonderful oh. Freetown, pure Hereford beef oh. from oh. Tarrington. Unbelievable. For a starter, it's perfect. We can add the flavour within our little dressings. We've got these roast vegetables we're going to serve with that. Trim it all. Ah, oh, that's that, nice. I, I'm very excited. That yeah. is... Whoa. There you go. Oh, look at that. That is a beautiful piece of beef. OK, well, there's your local produce, sirs. Lovely. Delicious. Many thanks. Good to meet you and the Thank best you, of Matthew. luck in the competition. Lovely. Thank Cheers, you. Thank God you. bless. Cheerio. See you Cheerio. soon. Cheers, mate. Good luck. Thank you. Come on, we've got to go. Move it. Just Good shopping on. and let's make sure the Get green team have no funny ideas about going to our butchers. Good work. Job done. Nice well array of the ingredients. The star of the show, for me, the, well, there are two elements, but one was this beautiful fillet of beef and it really was quite special. That's going to be involved in our starter. We've got these lovely little baby celeriacs full of flavour. Swedes and, you know, squashes and parsnips and all sorts there. Um, some mushrooms we got. Is it like pot. a roast vegetable salad with rare beef? Roast vegetable salad with rare beef. You've, you bang on it there, Paul, and I know that, that will fill you with joy. We're going to do a, a lovely classical dish. It's an American-style dish called chicken spago. It's boiled garlic, fresh parsley. You've got these amazing lemons. I don't know where they've gone, but unbelievable wild lemon. Look at these things. I mean, huge, great. The team has pitched lemon. their 10-mile menu to some local judges, the Ledbury Amateur Dramatic Society. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm Ed Baines, and my splendid team member here is Mark Durden-Smith. Well said. We've spent a wonderful morning in your locality, meeting some wonderful people, sampling some wonderful produce, mm, and we're now going to very quickly present to you our menu. In Act 1, enter stage right, we have the Duke of Hereford of Beef Fillet. It's a roast uh, autumnal root vegetable salad with beautiful Herefordshire beef fillet with a lovely little mustard dressing on the top. Act 2, a chicken springs in from the wings. OK, uh, Spring In From The Wings Chicken is a, a lovely local chicken, again, locally produced, fantastic quality with wild garlic, parsley and lemon. That's served with celeriac and some other accompaniments of vegetables. I've been booed off stage by now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw the vegetables. And the final act, which has a happy ending, there's an invader from France, the Duke of Pano Chocolat, but he is converted into a thoroughbred Englishman and becomes the Prince of the Hereford Tea Cake. That interprets as a pan au chocolat bread and butter pudding. So we've taken the French classic, made a lovely bread and butter pudding, but using the fantastic milk, beautiful local milk from your Jersey herd, actually, serving that with a little chocolate mousse as well and a little bit of sour cream. We hope you enjoy it. Enjoy your feasting. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. While back in the kitchen, the Blues are about to plate up their starter. I'm going to slice up our fillet. Got that crispy on the outside, just lovely and tender. Just these little um, spinach leaves. They've just been very gently braised with a bit of the beef juice and then over that, those vegetables. Just to make sure we've got a good bit of everything. So parsnip, carrot, beetroot, tiny little bit of dressing. Going to lay the beef very easily. Nice little lay layers of beef over it. That honey mustard dressing. Give it a little it's known as a cordon. That is Hereford in autumn. It's Embodied Hereford in autumn, isn't on it? On a plate. Yeah, and that's what we were trying to do, and I think I'm happy with that. Are you happy? I am. Um, I think that uh, you've done a magnificent job. Lovely. So the blue team starter. 
Herefordshire beef fillet with a warm roasted root vegetable salad and a mustard dressing. So I present to you Act 1, Hereford on a plate. The beef is absolutely perfect. It's slightly crisp on the outside. Mm -hmm. Look, it's actually nice, over uh, winter vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> it's too good to what are you doing down there? Well, it was Herefordshire beef, we were told, and we would expect that to be Herefordshire beef because we're in Herefordshire. <laughs> and it's from one of our local butchers. Uh, we know that all three of our local butchers are absolutely excellent. It just melted in the mouth. It was Time beautiful. for the results. Each judge marks every course out of ten allowing for a possible 50 points per course. And remember, when it comes to food, both professional chefs have their reputation at stake. Well, lady and gentlemen of the Blue and Green team, uh, on behalf of my fellow judges, I'd like to say thank you so much for the fantastic amount of work that you put in today. Wonderful produce you've been using from our hometown of Ludbury. Firstly, the starters. For the Blue team, we gave 42 points out of 50. And for the Green team, we gave 43 points out of 50. For the main courses, the blue team, we gave 39 points out of 50. And for the green team, we gave 41 points out of 50. We move to the puddings. For the blue team, 38 points. And for the green team, 35 points. And so it's a dead heat. Did. Oh, well. Does anybody else I didn't think we deserved it. Anyone deserved it. Great hug. So the teams had a great day running around the Herefordshire countryside. And for the first time in Ten Mile Menu's history, we have a draw. I tell you, that's a really fair result. Because I was worried about losing. <laughs> I thought we were just fair. I was, because I thought Ed's food was magnificent. You were yeah, worried no, about was, the You know time. what, we both, I think we both just worked so hard today. Both very focused and, and it was definitely good, good food, you know, all around. Oh, Whee! Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to a good day. Well done. So well done.